You are now watching Real Talk with Slapstick on Slapstick TV. Sit back and enjoy some laughs while our very own Valicia interviews the funny and infamous comedian, D-Nut, here on Slapstick. Oh, oh, hi. Welcome to Slapstick TV, mm. Mr. D. Motherfucking nut. See, he right. said it. Motherfucking I don't know yet. We're going to find out later. No, I'm just kidding. Anyway. <laughs> my D. Welcome to Slapstick TV. Star in this motherfucker. Sorry about that. It's my girl. <laughs> God damn it. She owe me. Ugh. We've been talking about this shit for years. Years. And we finally made and it we happen. we doing it, man. God is a mother. I can't say motherfucker. We got it now. <laughs> but we do say goddamn, don't we? Go ahead, baby. Okay. Right here at Slapstick TV with D Nut. How are you doing today, sir? I'm great. I'm twisted. It's my birthday. I'm about feeling good as you can feel. Your show was off the hook tonight. Yes. What gets you motivated? You know, you are, well, I don't want to say this, a well, I say you have a slight handicap. Right, right, right. And so what keeps you motivated? What makes you get out there and really keep it real for everyone that doesn't know that your handicap will not disable you? Kind of like, I feel like I'm like a spokesperson, you know what I'm saying, for the disabled because I've been disabled 22 years and it's like everything I do, everything I've done in the 22 years has kind of been breaking the mold for what disabled people are supposed to be able to do. You know what I'm saying? It's like, I just kind of like live, up, live above the disabled shit. Like the only thing I can't do is stand up and walk. Other than that, you know what I'm saying? Life in the real world, which is what I call my shit, the real world, it's the same. It's the same as walk. Okay, so what keeps you laughing? What keeps you motivated? Where does your comedy come from? My comedy actually comes from real, real personal things that have happened in my life. I've never been a comedian. I've always been silly. I've always did music and other things. And I moved down here a few years ago and it's just me being silly me. A couple of friends said, you need to try comedy. And I just said, okay, well, what the hell? I'll try it. And you know, actually I got a good response and it was more or less like getting to feel the vibe of being on stage, delivering the comedy as far as the material. Because like I say, the material is just real shit. And I guess when you're in the wheelchair and you do something and it's funny, then that's, that's comedy. Okay, so let's talk about some funny things. As you said, keeping it light, keeping it happy. So, boxers or boots? Diapers. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that, you guys. I would tell you, I definitely wasn't I'm expecting that. I'm just playing, goddammit. I'm past the diaper stage. Hey. Well, as fine as you are, I I'm wouldn't, in the, I'm in the, I wouldn't I'm mind. In the, I wouldn't hey, mind. I'm in the box of green stage. You know what? Speaking of diapers, I do got some funny shit. Back when I did get first got shot, I was in diapers. I used to wear diapers in school and shit like that. Fresh as hell with a diaper underneath me. I never knew how loud and rattly your diaper is <laughs> when you were in the classroom quiet as hell, and you moving around with a rattling ass diaper on, I wore a diaper, so what? Uh, okay, so you talk about being shot. How did being shot, first of all, you were active, walking, doing your thing before you got shot. Right. So, when you got shot, how did that put things in a proper perspective? It was kind of like, uh, I was 15, very young at age, and it was uh, like a, it was such a quick change in life that, being at the age I was, I really couldn't compare it to nothing. You know what I'm saying? So it really was a, 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 a it was really like a grow up and deal with it situation. You know what I'm saying? And I just fortunate that I always say fortunate because I had good friends and uh, my boys always told me like you know whatever we gonna you gonna run with us chair or no chair you gonna run with us and you know 15 is like a very vulnerable age for anything to happen to you let alone being disabled. So I guess the most important thing in my 15 year old age, my thinking was women. I wasn't thinking about money at the time, but just women, you know, how am I gonna get to me? And then when I went to rehab and basically got out, went to high school, it was like answers problem solved. Women like niggas in chairs. I don't know why, but women are attracted to niggas in chairs. Maybe because Since you guys are in chairs, we can finally calm you down, slow you down, and get a word in and say, hey, well, keep it still. <laughs> it all depends on what kind of nigga in the chair you fucking with. <laughs> okay. Well, if you're fucking with a nigga like me, 
it's gonna still be hell. I believe it. So you're in a wheelchair, so still girls hollering at you. I see you fighting all and everything and stuff. I'm trying to, you know, get home here a little bit. Right. Long way. Right. Probably wouldn't give me a time of day. Good. Little so, old me. Everything. I mean, the only thing keeping us from being together is clothes. Clothes. Right. Why well, I have to be behind closed doors? Because so we're going to wrap it up here at Slapstick TV. Did you have this motherfucker horny than the motherfucker, like I said? And your girl, me. Thank you. Slapstick in this bitch. And that was Valicia with comedian D Nut. Be sure to tune in next week for comedian Howie Bell here on Slapstick. 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 Slapstick TV coming your way. Slapstick. Slapstick. Shut it down. Slapstick. Shut it down. Shut it down. Shut it down. Hey, look. Fuck with us, damn it. We're a team. Get with us. Hi. Hey, I'm sorry, baby. I'm sorry, man. But damn. I saw. Hey, look. Man, sorry, slash the kid. Slash the kid. Slash the kid. Hey, listen. I've been trying. I'm trying to get, this, trying to get her to and believe in me. She got things going. I'm trying to get her to believe in me. I do believe in you. I'm That's why as soon as I see you, like, oh, we gotta get him. I see you a few times here. So right, I see you too. See? It's fortunate that I got this form to remind you. I gotta say, we did spend some time together. I went to the man's house. We chilled. We chilled. She's been to my crib because she knows where I live. So do you want to do your, do you have a, like a site or something you want to like give a shout YouTube, out? YouTube, you do your... Twitter, but wait a minute, YouTube, let's do it from Facebook. Me. I'm on there. I'm on Facebook. You know, I got all my status and likes. It's athletic shit. I'm lying. It's all good, but it's interesting. <laughs>